Hi guys, uh, Barney Boy here again today and we're going to look at another video whereby we're going to pat test this toaster here. Um, that is mine. So I'll just unplug it because I've just been uh, checking over it to make sure it's actually safe for this video before I do it. Um, but you have two classes to any uh, appliance really. You've got your class one, your class two, uh, and then you have some other things that are separate to that, like extension leads or, or main leads, things like that. And your class one appliances, of which this toaster is one, uh, that's more of your things like a, a toaster, um, a kettle, uh, things like that. Uh, that will also have an earth cable, which will be for some extra protection for yourself. And then your class two appliances, which are things that um, are 240 volts or more. So things like a TV, uh, a large lamp and some other things like that. So a pack test, um, portable appliance test or, or PAT even, uh, consists of a number of things. Uh, mainly it's just making sure that the appliance is safe. But also it includes the actual pat test itself with this device here and also a visual inspection. And that visual inspection of this toaster would include things like inspecting the cable where it meets the actual plug, making sure nothing is exposed uh, within the actual plug itself, looking underneath the toaster, making sure the connections are all safe, no wires exposed and everything visually looks as you would expect. I've already checked the underside of this toaster, so I won't bother picking it up again, um, and it's all as you would expect it to look. And then, of course, everything in here as well uh, looks as it should. I've also looked over the cable where it goes into the back. That's all safe, uh, as you would expect. And, of course, here as well, that looks fine to me. So the way to know exactly if you have a Class 1 or a Class 2 appliance is we have a symbol for a Class 2, which is a square within a square, and then a symbol for a class three, which is almost like half a dumbbell, if you will. So I can see here on this plug, we've got um, the symbol that indicates this is a class one appliance. So it has the earth. So for this pad test, to turn this on, uh, firstly, you wanna put the batteries in. Um, I would not recommend keeping the batteries in the appliance uh, as the batteries may uh, leak or other things like that. Uh, and damage it or pose a risk. Um, so I've put the batteries on already, uh, I've screwed the uh, case on for those, I've turned it on, and uh, the toaster has been completely disconnected from any wall plugs, and we've also attached the extender to ensure we can check on the earth. Now, from here, what we want to do is plug the toaster in, make sure nothing else is attached, uh, get the uh, additional uh, point, get it onto a metallic surface, so just onto the top of the toaster here, that's absolutely fine. Uh, push the button that says it's a class one, we'll push that now, and we should hear a number of beeps uh, and processes and hopefully we'll get a pass. So, push the class one appliance button, there we are. Okay, so earth count is low. Insulation is fine, and sub-leak is fine as well. So I'm just gonna hold that down. Earth, again, is good. That's earth. Insulation, just processing that now. Give it a moment. There we are, insulation is fine. And sub-leak is absolutely fine. And we can see we have a pass, which is exactly what we want. We can see that just there. It just takes a moment, uh, and sometimes you have to redo it because your hand can slip when you've got uh, this on a metallic surface. So once you've done that and you know it's a pass, you can take one of these stickers here Fill it in, they're quite straightforward. It'll just be the appliance ID, uh, who done it, uh, the test date and the next test date. So for this, uh, I'm gonna give it a pass and uh, the next one is gonna be in 12 months time. But the principle remains for all class one appliances, uh, the same process is followed. So as always, 
uh, please comment any questions you may have or anything else you want me to uh, pat test. Um, please give me a like, please ring that bell, please subscribe. Uh, any questions I will endeavour to answer, so please ask. And in my next video, we'll look at how we pat test a class two appliance, because this is of course a class one, uh, and a class two uh, will be something with the double square, so maybe uh, something that draws uh, a lot more voltage, maybe a, a TV or something similar. As always, thanks for watching, guys.